came to the main hall. So, so what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? So that kind of looks like a party balloon, but I know it's not. Like, to the left, to that Gatling gun. There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an Ian handbook. No, wait, there's three of them. Well, what are they doing here? So, you finally found them. Huh? Did you know these were here, Bianca? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? Hm. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks. And when I did... You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook! Hm. Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. Oh, because lending is, um, verbal. Like, yeah, you can. But borrowing is just, you take it and you put it back with no one noticing. You should pay closer attention to the regulations that the answer's been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. I see, yeah. Now I understand. Main hall e-handbooks have been added to the truth, but it's section of your handbook. What? Hmm. Hold on a second. Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name while I started it up. And that one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It makes sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs? The memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind conducted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the other handbook to break during that kind of assault. Damn it! Hey, hey, you kids! I'm gonna fucking mince you up! Hey, 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 hey! Now I'm hey. Great. What? That the handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, and super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it. Did. That's impossible! If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't fucking break! It can move stand up to 10 tons of pressure and it's waterproof for 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it's one to do crap! Mm. Oh, but uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. I can't hear you! But it's a secret! I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks! What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing it, what its weakness was, right? Hmm. Mm. I'd say, you know what I think? I think this ha his handbook isn't actually oh, broken. Wow. You might ask, how could that be? <laughs> Leave the question hanging in the air, Monica had disappeared. What just happened? Well, oh, hang on. So, someone picked. Leon's up, right? But it was mur she was murdered and goes away, right? So at this point, we're thinking that a boy, no, a girl, wait, how does that work? Hang on, okay, we just discovered something. So, Chihiro died in Miguel's locker room. The hero doesn't need a handbook to get in. The girls don't need a handbook to get in. But Leon's handbook is a guy's. 
so the guys wouldn't be able to use that to get into the girls' room. However, saying that, a guy could use a girl's handbook to get in to the girls' room. However, as Leon does the one that's broken, I'm presuming that Leon wasn't the one who broke it, and I'm going to guess that it's something to do with this case. Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning off. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Why think of it? It's just because of how I know games and plot work. <laughs> okay, then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed to hear it. <laughs> to be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? Okay. What do you mean by that, Bianca? Not to be, to be exact, not quite. Certainly, I want to reveal to hear his killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think you truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Don't your make killer? me repeat myself. Absolutely, I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is culprit in this case. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? There's nobody else it could be. Madras fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. What nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. They say he's killed thousands of people but that's gotta be an urban legend. Still, could one of us really be a demented psychotic killer like that? <laughs> I know for a fact that one of us could. <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. But words, but words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. I'm gone, huh? <laughs> okay. Don't make. And I have a basis to believe that. I assure you, genocide Jack is one of us. Is that really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. Back of a closet. Up here. <laughs> no. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear now. Evidence of genocide. Jack is the one that killed the hero. Evidence? Is something like that really... Ah! Ah! Hey, you do! Big trouble. Need your help. I don't have time to play We're with busy. You. Leave us alone. <laughs> But it's an emergency. Emergency! Come on, please, you gotta help me! Please! This is a serious emergency! Please, please, you gotta help me! Just calm down, okay, yes, Hina? I mean. But, but, it's an emergency! An emergency? What happened? No. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting strange. Well, what I mean, she wasn't acting. She was acting pretty strange earlier, right? Which we did be, okay? Very strange. Since it's Teoka, I must admit I'm intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I know. That bit was voice acted for some reason. I thought for sure he'd just say no and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! Wait for us, Hina. Let's go. It looks like she headed to the dorms, Teoka's room, most likely. You're right. Oh, this is good. You don't have to walk in there. Is Toko inside? Some kind of emergency? You guys are too slow! I think you're just too fast. Hm. So, what's this emergency? Oh, um... Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay low. Down... So she can lay down even, not lay low, because that means she's killed someone. <laughs> After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing. But when we did, hmm, it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. 
I may as well give it a shot. The door swung open, slowly and silently. China masturbating your fuck off, guys. Ah, holy crap, fuck it! Oh, Christ, you're gonna warn me that your face was up. An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that, uh, Hina was really worried about you, holding yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But, could you open up, just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? <laughs> Won't let Genocide Jack have control! Uh-oh. And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. What was that? She's been acting like that the whole time when I rang a little while ago. Uh, I'll, I'll drive out the, the killer. The, the, the drive out the mother's fiend. Um. It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down the, her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. It couldn't even budge. Take her scared enough to bar her door? Did she think the same? Did she think the same as Bianca? Did she think the serial killer just like Jack really murdered your hero? Is that why Toko's so scared? But whatever it is, I'm worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to persuade her? You might. Hey, Bianca. You think you could ask her? Come out of her room, I mean. That's fine. What else would you fucking be? Sure, whatever. Huh? You're gonna talk to her, Bianca? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Excuse me, bitch. Bianca stood in front of the door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments. What do you want? L leave me alone, you're all so, 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 so annoying. Uh -huh. Bianca! It's Bianca, yeah. Oh, buckle up! I don't know what it said. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I couldn't keep our promise. <laughs> but uh, don't worry. Never again. I I won't let genocide Jack have control again. And with that, the door slammed shut. <laughs> hang on. Hang on, hang on. Have we got transcript? I'm sure there's a transcript. Is it F2? Yeah, F2. Right. Let's have a look at that. I'm sorry I couldn't keep our promise. But don't worry, never again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. Right. So, link ever control ever again to never again. Right, so they're talking about the same thing. And then, so that means you can link Genocide Jack because of but don't worry, promise dot dot dot, so that's the next bit. So that means Genocide Jack 2, I'm sorry, I couldn't keep our promise, I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. She's Genocide Jack, there we go. Done. So her name isn't actually Toko? Is what I'm guessing. Even Buyaka couldn't put it off. <laughs> There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Uh, hold on. Hey, Bianca, what was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise? Hmm? Uh, I have no idea. One of her delusions, I'm sure. But, but, but. Stop talking. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Let Hina. Just let Hina take control mm. care of her. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye let's on her. Let's go. Well then, let's go. Without waiting for a reply, Bianca sped away. But, Bianca! And I hurried to catch up. I tried to talk to him several times as we walked, but he didn't even look back. They don't say anything. He just kept on walking towards his destination. Finding his feet brought him to a stop in front of a certain room, the library. I'm guessing? Because that's where he's been spending all this time, yep. The library? <laughs> Come on, let's go in.
Um, is this the uh, is the evidence that proves it was genocide Jack reading Don't in the library? Don't make me say it again. <laughs> There's no point in checking there. We need to find real clues. I remember on the other side of the door. It's the archive, right? <laughs> Hurry up and go inside. Let's go. Oh, here? It makes all sense once you're inside. Whoa, there's so many books and files. There's so much dust. So, in other words, I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. The shelf is stuffed tight with files. Without really thinking, I picked out one at random. Hmm. Ah, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Huh? That's right. That's because this is a game, you stupid twat. And that means the plot is concerned with you picking the right book, not spending ten minutes trying to find the right one. Am I right? Haha, <laughs> of course I am. Let's all pause for a presidential assassination. The original was kept on National Library. Which would be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? <laughs> There's no telling who's crosshairs, you might wind up in for peeking at it. Without making a sign, return to the file. Return, return the file to the shop. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I was wrong, it appears. Oh shit. That's enough. What's that? Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? In detail, all the people who control the world from behind the scenes, dangerous stuff are common. You mean like members of the diet or something? <laughs> no, I mean the ones with real power, the secret council, controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to, to be disappeared for, I'll take a look. There were some very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, <laughs> right? Am I? Oh, oh, just let it go for now. Yeah. So which fucking book is it? There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although judging by the smudges and dust, it looks like there was something inside. I wonder what it was. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful and doesn't even lie there. An extension cord, huh? To kill the kid it with! Huh? Huh? It's a desk job. Oh yeah, it's the same one. Oh. Oh yeah, it's the same one. That's all Biaka used in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? It was here before. Then I moved it. It was his here before, and I moved over here. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. Right, so there's some books behind. Oh, hang on. That's gotta be it. No, really? That's like so hidden. Okay. There's a ton of big files stuffed into the bookshelf. If you're thinking of looking through any of them, better we give you a warning. Those things are filled with graphic disturbing photos from all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing any normal person would want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files and investigation reports that related to cold cases. Those internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. <laughs> 